Welcome, everyone. Good to be here. Um, the new normal is that nothing is normal. So I think since 2019, everyone knows what a supply chain is. And since ships are blocking the Suez Canal, viruses are breaking out, or energy prices are going crazy, um, we realize that a lot of things are more complex than we thought and that we need to react fast to dynamic changes. And the answer, if we look at supply chain planning and other areas, how we cope with this, it's basically Excel. So, of course, there are a lot of other fancy tools below that uh, provide data and have a lot of nice value propositions, but everyone exports them normally to Excel and does it like he did it the last 20 years. But this doesn't work anymore. The good news is we're in the year 2023 and we have a new answer. AI. May I ask, like, who here in the audience has already used ChatGPT? And whom of you got already a mistake or a wrong answer? That's pretty decent. And for most of the people, like, really doing hard and important decisions, if they think about AI, they think about generative AI. And we wrote a book this year, and we did some research, and we also got a lot of wrong answers. And we realized that we need to educate people because you can't let such an AI, which is really good in producing nice language, help you to go for business critical decisions. And that's why you need to differentiate which kinds of AI they actually exist. I mean, there are many. A better answer for supply chain and sales planning, for example, is forecast AI. So what does it do? It's pretty, you want, you could ask ChatGPT, how much will I sell? You will get an answer. It will be beautiful written, but if you really want to make a difference, save money and have an impact, you should focus on something that takes the important inputs and predicts how good and how much you will sell. And therefore, like as a data scientist, I'm really happy to get a really high number like these 96% that you see here. Then most of the people will say, okay, forecast accuracy is nice, but business and decision makers just don't care, right? And they're right because it just doesn't matter how good your forecast accuracy is. It all depends on the business problem you want to change. So first of all, if you do a project, always take a look. Is the problem that you try to solve relevant? If it isn't, it doesn't matter if you use AI, just don't spend your time on it. If you want to find out what is relevant, just try to really go from the target. So what you want to achieve to what can you predict and what can you optimize for. So that's why we always love to define the problem first. In this case, sales is irrelevant. It's all about how much should I order for my supply chain in order to minimize costs and to maximize availability. And once you have this problem modeled and the CEO says, if you solve me this problem, I hang a picture in my office because this is such a big pain for me, then you can think about gathering the data and you can think about using AI in order to solve it. And if you do so, I can guarantee you, you will have a big impact in the business and that's what you should focus on. Thank you. I should go.